When you're done painting, you simply take your paint tray and any remaining paint that you have on it and you stick it into the palette garage. Slide it right in there. Um, you may, depending on how much of the paint you have disturbed, you may want to re-moisten the uh, clove oil wicks with a little more clove oil. Uh, you don't want to oversaturate them. You don't want loose drops in the cap, but you do want to have the felt wick completely saturated. Um, the more you disturb your paint and create an open surface, the more you're going to have to add clove oil. Um, so I added a little more clove oil. I might want to do it on that end too if I've actually disturbed a lot of the paint surface. And then I close it up. And notice that when I rotate it, as long as the tube is horizontal, the paint tray will stay. Uh, it will not turn upside down. It will stay at the bottom because of the way it's weighted. So this will um, never, you can't really turn it upside down. You don't have to worry about your paints uh, you know, covering the surface here. You do, however, need to take care not to store it vertically like this because the paints will slide into each other. So as long as you have it stored horizontally, you don't have to worry so much about it to put it in there just right. As long as it's pretty much horizontal, the, the uh, paint will readjust itself to be at the bottom. And next time you paint, whether that's tomorrow or two weeks from now or maybe even a month from now, your paints will still be very smooth and delicious.